And local doctors are telling us they hear similar concerns from some parents who speak with them about the vaccine. And that includes a common bit of misinformation that children don't get sick from COVID. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl goes in depth to find out just how often children between the ages of 5 and 11 get seriously ill from coronavirus. Among all the age groups now eligible for the vaccine, kids 5 through 11 have the lowest risk of severe COVID. If you look at the last five weeks of CDC data and compare age groups, the risk of a COVID hospitalization is 27 times higher in adults over 65 and seven times higher in adults 18 to 49. It's more than one and a half times higher in older kids 12 and up. But pediatricians say these shots are still so important for this age group. We don't want children dying of infections that are preventable. We've had over 300 children here inside Rady Children's Hospital with COVID, 75 of them in the intensive care unit. So kids do get sick, and this is a big step to preventing that. The FDA prepared several projections of the risks for kids 5 through 11, and they estimated that for every 240 COVID infections in this age group, one child will wind up hospitalized. For every three kids hospitalized, one will need the intensive care unit. The risk of death in these kids is low. Out of 1.9 million confirmed COVID infections in this age group, 94 have resulted in death. Yes, it is true that the overall hospitalization and death rate is much lower for kids than it is for adults. It's absolutely true. Nobody's going to argue about that, but it's not zero. And it's not just in kids with underlying conditions. It's some kids that actually have no previously known uh, medical condition. And that's the scariest part. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego points out about one third of kids hospitalized had no underlying health issues. And many of those who did had things like asthma or obesity. Then there's the risk of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children or MISC. There's about one MISC case for every 3,200 COVID infections, but it strikes kids five through 11 more frequently than any age group they account for nearly half of all the cases. And of course, infected kids pose a risk not just to themselves, but others. I've had several patients on my own who have actually died, uh, people in their 80s and 90s who were infected by their grandkids uh, that came home. Here's one last number, eight. In the five through 11 age group, COVID is estimated to be the eighth leading cause of death. So whether it's to protect them or those around them, doctors say the shots are worth it. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The CDC says children 5 through 11 face a similar risk from COVID as they do from influenza. And the agency recommends all kids get a flu vaccine.